Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be jumping into the Bitcoin charts together here on a week which is oh so important. I truly believe that this week of trading is going to be absolutely massive. I am very much looking forward to it. I hope that you are doing very, very, very well. We start the week with a smile on our face doing what we absolutely love and that is the technical analysis. So let's just jump into the charts. Oh, and it, what a beautiful chart is it that? I, I, I love this chart. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So what do we have going on right here? Well, uh, obviously, we are currently forming a little range. Let's just do the, the quick range that we're in at the moment because this range is fairly simple to identify. Here we are down on the, you know, on the lower term time frames, of course, but nevertheless, ranges respected on all time time frames. We're taking it from the first original high that was put in here, okay, and we're lining up that high, and we're taking it down to that first low that was put in, and we can see we have been maintained within this channel now for, you know, uh, going on 12, nearly 13 hours, actually, 13 hours we have been within this channel from the high to the low, to the high, to the low, to the high, to the middle of the channel where we have found support of the middle of the channel this time, building its way back up towards that high. If we do breach the top of this channel, then this is known obviously as your partial decline, um, you know, and, and it's obviously considered bullish. So it's currently finding support off that middle of the channel, but ultimately for the past 13 hours, very much range bound in here. Of course, during this video, I'll be covering the levels to the upside and to the downside that we have to be aware of for when this channel breaks. We do, we don't expect this channel to hold for the next seven days. Uh, <laughs> it would be interesting if it did, but definitely don't expect that. This is gonna be a big week of trading. So let's just zoom out a little second. And, uh, you know, if you've been watching these videos that we've been producing for the past <laughs> years, you'll know I love to go over the educational side. Why? So you can absolutely learn. You can learn, empower yourself and just get better at trading. That's what you're here for, no? And I want to just cover this area where we bounced off of very briefly here for a few minutes and then we'll get back onto this section of the chart. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, obviously we had the live stream on YouTube on Friday night. And then after after that YouTube video, that was an hour long live stream on YouTube. Then we went over on Twitch for nearly five hours, streaming late into the night. Uh, you know, <laughs> playing some games and going over Bitcoin at the end here. And surprise, surprise, surprise! What level did we bounce off of? It obviously was that CC level that we were already waiting for on that one, and that was obviously coming in at around forty nine three hundred. Okay, that was the CC we were looking at during that Twitch stream. And where did we bounce off of? Well. Surprise, surprise. We bounced off of that actually uh, 8.30 on Saturday. Yeah, you have to be ready at all hours and times here. But on Saturday, we, we did come down. We hit the top of that CC. Okay, so obviously we have the top of the CC and we have the low of the CC. Here, I mean, we have to agree the strength is absolutely insanely massive because we hit the top of that CC literally like right there. You can see it there to the absolute dollar, 6.30 on Saturday. And well, well, we can see the bounce that's happened for ourselves when we add on this CC retracement. Okay, add on our support here. We can see we hit the low, or sorry, the high of that CC got our bounce and well the, the rest is history and it's obviously given us our move to the upside we've obviously now forming this area of consolidation and well where's the resistance to the where's the next le I'm just going to say level to the upside as you all kind of know my thought thoughts on this this uh cc but uh the next level of let's just say the next level above us is obviously coming in at the top of this cc which is 52,600 and around 89 dollars please don't look at this as an exact dollar this top one you know you you do have to view it as a zone to be fair, and we have kind of this zone of resistance above us here. And, you know, we, we could say that's really coming in from around 52,600 to around 53,300. It's just this little zone of resistance around the top of that CC. So, yeah, that, that's the zone that I would kind of view this from. You don't need to look at it as the exact dollar, although it does get respect to the exact dollar. It's got to be viewed as a bit of a region going into Monday. Uh, we obviously do have increased volatility. Uh, we have, relatively speaking, a bit of a lower volume today. It's, it's a US holiday, I believe, today. Um, but things to bear in mind here, which are kind of interesting, are the, these are the CME uh, positions. So you could say your institutional traders, people that are supposed to, I suppose, know what they're all about. And you can see the percentage of new uh, positions that have opened here. And this is on the CME. Um, so yeah, your institutional traders and they, and they are going heavily short, a uh, lot of new heavily, you know, a lot of heavily, <laughs> a lot of, there's just a, a lot more shorts opening here than longs by your institutional asset managers. Okay. They are, they are starting to open their short positions here. Is this bearish? Well, 
time will tell, I suppose. Uh, we have all, all we have to acknowledge is we have seen no rejection. So we've seen a lot of uh, the institutional traders loading up short positions here in the CC. But so far, there have been absolutely no rejection. You know, you can also bear in mind that the funding rate, of course, is starting to lean bearish. But again, this, in my opinion, is just a metric to look at. Just because you have a bearish funding rate does definitely not mean, if anything, it means the chart is bullish, yeah, because the, you've obviously seen a lot of, of longs open at that at moment in time. So this is just a metric to be aware of. Of course, you cannot trade off of the funding rate. Um, but it's just something to be aware of. You know, it's just something to be aware of. And so we do have to be aware of the funding rate. We can be aware that the institutional asset managers are starting to go into, you know, starting to get into, uh, you know, a lot of new short positions open. Let's just say that new short positions opening here in the CC resistance. But as it stands, as we can saw when we add on our parallel channel, we obviously have seen another move to the upside over the weekend, well, Sunday night, you know, CME opened, another move to the upside. We have obviously then seen our area of consolidation going on. And as I was saying, we have that next level of resistance, which we looked well. Next level to the upside is coming in at around obviously that 52,600. And then obviously to the downside, I think we. <laughs> I think we all know the level that we have to be looking at here. It's gone to the 15 minute chart. And really simply because it has just been the most godlike level <laughs> we've ever seen during the last few weeks of this World Series of trading, that uh, level itself is coming in at exactly around 50,300 50, ish. You have then that CC to the downside, low of the CC to the downside. Why is this, this, this level has just been absolutely insane? I mean, every single time for it, it's just been, it's. Yeah, no extra words needed for this level. It's just a level we have to be aware of. Uh, so if we do, um, you know, if we do do something like this, for example, where we do in, end up losing the channel, not just wick through it and, you know, a swing failure pattern time move, but if we lose the, 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 you know, if we lose this channel, then of course we could find support you know, above this, but a sensible level obviously has to be viewed that CC. This is a sensible level of support should we lose that channel, back test it and, you know, look to be approaching to the downside. Of course, we do have a bit of SR above us, but this is what we have to say, a very strong level of support based off of his, based off of the past 10 days of trading. Ever since the World Series of trading started, this CC has just been absolutely insane, like amazing. So yeah, we just got to be aware of that coming in at around 50,300-ish, you know? So um, that's the really the way that I would approach this. We got our intermediate, we got our intermediate channel that we can absolutely trade. Um, from that intermediate channel, we obviously have the upside resist, uh, upside, yeah, let's just say upside resistance, obviously coming in at that top CC. We have then our intermediate support, should we lose the low of our channel, coming in at this CC support. So really it's kind of a little bit of a Fibonacci day that we're going on. We all know we're in a really big Fibonacci sort of uh, resistance region. We all know where the next Fibonacci level is to the downside. We all know our intermediate support. And it's kind of like I was writing over on Twitter. In my opinion, the, a lot of the people that are trying to be very bearish right now are the people that, that sold at 30k. So be very careful. You know, it just kind of, kind, of seems, kind of seems to me like a lot of people that I'm reading on Twitter and stuff that are promoting these sort of bearish biases are the people that literally sold $30,000. So you have to think what's their alternative motive here, because if we truly are trading the charts, like I'm saying here, I, I am personally long, um, you know, I think I've made this very clear to everyone. I'm, I'm long and I'm pretty bullish on Bitcoin, but... Um, it's because I'm trading the charts, yeah. My, my, it doesn't matter what my bias is, really. It doesn't matter what my bias is. It doesn't really matter what anybody says. The only thing that matters is the chart. And this chart is undeniably bullish. This is an undeniably bullish chart. So, you know, I'm not here to promote, uh, to tell you what to do at the end of the day. I'm not, a, I guess I will load this up. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. Of course not. Just here to give you an educational perspective on the chart. And that is it. And really simply from my, you know, for my uh, experience in this market, this this is a this is a uptrend. This is a bullish uptrend. We have seen absolutely zero 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 resistance that's come in here. All we have done is we've we've come up to our next level and we've formed a sideways channel. So as it stands, let's be honest. What what is what is the need to be bearish here? What is the need to be so aggressive on the shorts? Yeah, well, there's time time will tell whether that works out or not. But in my experience, we are much better to trade the trends. When we're in such a strong uptrend, we are short squeezing like hell. Shorts are getting absolutely destroyed. But every single time we're moving up here, shorts are opening, 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 and they're just getting wrecked and wrecked and wrecked and wrecked and wrecked. We still maintain within our uptrend. We still maintain within this bullish bias, to be fair, but that's obviously a little bit personal. 
as it stands, everything is good. Everything is fine. Everything is everything is just absolute jolly and, and very nice. So the way that I'm going to end here is I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, we have to trade the charts. Should we lose our level of support? You know, should we lose that channel to the downside? We know our next level of support, obviously. Yeah, you could potentially get into shorts from there you know, there's definitely the opportunity. And should we break this channel to the upside? We know, we know our next level. It really is level to level trading here. Of course, I personally will level to level trade on a day trade perspective or simultaneously absolutely holding swing longs. I have that one from 28K. I have another swing long from 29,000. So I'm in a few different swing long positions. I have no reason to close them at all. Um, there's no weakness here for me. So yeah, I'm, I'm really simply going to approach this ch this channel that we have in the day trading perspective. If we do break this uh, this parallel channel, I know where to look for. If I break this parallel channel to the upside, I know where to look for. That's all that we need to know. We just need to know the levels that we're trading to next and let the charts come to us. Let the trades come to us. We do not need to be trading here, for example. We can wait for that next best trade. And it's as simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've liked this video, absolutely destroy that like button as hard as you can. Smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. I hope that you absolutely crush this week of trading. Let's just have a brilliant time. When you've got that smile on your face, the trades come easier. I'm telling you that for sure. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And uh, hey, let's crush it this week. Let's just crush it. Have a good time. And I'll maybe see you over on Twitch if we have another one. Thank you ever so much. And have a brilliant day. Goodbye. Cheers.